Okay. So each chakra governs a part of your body. Like the red chakra, the base chakra governs your legs, your feet, your knees, your thighs. And then it also governs a certain quality or within you. So for example, the muladhara, the base, governs your grounding and your sense of security and your survival instinct. So when we say survival instinct in our world today, this can mean things like, do you have a home? Do you have a family? Do you have money? So often if any of these are missing, like let's say you lost your job and you don't have enough money, you're feeling like you're not, you don't feel secure and grounded and your survival is threatened, that can manifest as a pain in the Muladhara region. So in your legs, in your knees, in your feet, um, in the ACL or the IT band, any sort of physical block in the base chakra region, which is your, your um, tailbone and below, is actually a sign that there's something that's ailing you. For each chakra, there are certain things you can do to balance it. The first thing you can do is eat food that is that color. So when we're talking about the base chakra, eating anything red, like tomatoes and strawberries and red cabbage and chili peppers. And then you can also do exercises, like any exercise that works the base region. So for example, here I'm doing a base squat. Squat is using your legs, your thighs, your hips, so it's working that area. Um, you can also do meditation, meditating around the red, re red color around your tailbone. Um, and by doing these things, you can balance your muladhara. So the breath, there, it's not specifically one for muladhara, one for svadhisthana. Rather, it's like a breathing system that's going to breathe up and down the shushumna nadi and work on all of them. Um, there's also chanting. So there's a specific, just like there's a specific color because of the vibration, there's also a specific sound. So the muladhara chant is bam. So if you sit nice and tall, and just sort of try and feel a vibration right at the base, right where you're sitting. And you can say, vam, vam, vam. And you're kind of engaging that space. And slowly, this is how you start to sensitize yourself to feel. So we're, we're really used to feeling on the outside of our body. And inside the body, we only really recognize pain. But slowly, through training, we can start to recognize vibration inside the body, inside these energy centers. And so the chanting also helps kind of localize where the, the chakra exists.